Now, I read a book several years ago, and I tried to find what was the name of the book, and I couldn't find it. But it taught me a lesson about finances that I have never forgotten, and I've lived up to that to this very moment. And it was in a chapter in the book which says, you make enough money right now for all that you need. Your problem is you don't manage it right. So the problem is in the management. It is not in the finances. Here in North America, we owe money and we live by the rule of let's owe. Our government owes money. And our government owes so much money that they put owing money as part of the budget. And every time they have a session, let's borrow more money. Now, for the rest of us, we have little understanding of what it means when the government is borrowing money from itself. But every time they borrow money from themselves, the dollar decreases in value. You, I have been to countries where they have given me a, an offering, and it's like monopoly money. I got a chunk this big, but by the time I take it a change, I got $5. That's monopoly money for me. I have gone to countries where they have million dollar bills. And when you see it, you're like, man, they, I really got paid. I got $5 million. And I change it, and it's $5. You know, we like the sound of million, but it's worthless when it's not true, when it's not a true value. So today I want us to find out where our money is. There are some things that we do in our society that if you go a generation before us, they never did. I mean, they didn't do it at all. In the United States, a person spends in energy, in energy, what it costs for you to live on energy. That's driving your car, the food you eat, the light, the, the phone, the water, all that. It's 110,000 watts per hour. That's the average cost in the United States, 110,000 watts per hour. Now, if that's hard for you to understand, get a 100-watt bulb, one single 100-watt bulb. Now have 110 following you everywhere, 24-7. That's how much you cost. While you can go to the continent of Africa, and they cost 8 watts per hour. If the world should spend what Americans spend we will need five and one quarter worlds to support it. See, we have means, but we also have an attitude of entitlement. I am owed this. And we walk around with that attitude. I deserve this. Some of us even do it at the end of the day. I worked all day. I deserve this. While we don't understand that in Africa, they will eat meat once a year. Did you eat meat yesterday? How about the day before? The day before that? Unless you've chosen to be a vet, uh, vegetarian or vegan, you eat meat. You can eat meat. But in Africa, it's once a year. So that's why they only cost eight watts per hour. We use up and consume so much, and what we don't consume, we throw it away. My wife just took a coupon class, and she came home disappointed, and she said, Honey, I only saved $160. Whoa, that's a lot. No, honey, I know people that go on grocery shopping, and they get money back. And I'm like, yeah, grow to that point. That's fantastic. Come back with money after you went grocery shopping. We have to use every tool that's available to us. 